Welcome to MG's Academy. Today we are starting with a new lecture that is of money. We are uh, in the series of IPM Standard 2nd. So let's start. So in this topic that is known as money, we uh, are going to talk about something about rupees and paise and the things related to rupees. So let's start. Here we can see in India the unit of money is rupees. We all know that the unit of money is rupees. If you want to buy something, you have to use rupees. Then one rupee is equal to 100 paise. Paise is a subunit or just smaller than rupees. But uh, today we don't use paise that frequently. We, we use rupees. The symbol for rupee. Rupee is just one rupee. That is R E dot. And rupees is one more than one rupees. That is rupees. R S dot. Then the symbol of paise is P dot. It is not common these days, but it is a unit of paise that is P dot. Then the number on the left hand side is rupees, and on the right hand side is paise. So we can uh, see that while writing any uh, amount of money, we write like this if some chocolate or any biscuit is there uh, we write rupees 45.00 or something paise rupees is there we write on the this side so we we can see that on the left hand side it is 45 rupees and on the right hand side these are paise on the right hand side of the dot and on the left hand side of the dot and we use this symbol that is the R symbol is used to represent rupees this symbol so this was all about rupees and how money is calculated in India so let us take some examples so this is our first example so 120 rupees plus 100 paise this is the unit of rupees and this is the unit of paise so 120 rupees plus 100 paise so here we can see 120 rupees are the unit which we calculate in rupees and 100 paise is an interesting quantity because we have learned that 100 paise make 1 rupee we have seen that in our theory that 100 paise make 1 rupee so instead of this 100 paise we could write 1 rupee yes so let us write that let us write here rupees 120 plus rupees 1 so our units are the same so we'll write rupee here also and 120 plus 1 is simply 121 so 120 rupees plus 100 paise gives us 121 rupees so this is our next question the cost of one notebook is 15 rupees what is the cost of three such notebooks so here one notebook is rupees 15 so let us write our cost that is rupees 15 this is of one notebook there are three such notebooks so there would be another notebook with rupees 15 and another notebook with rupees 15 so three notebooks so this is a simple case of multiplication so it is simply we can write it as rupees 15 into 3 so the unit of rupees remains same because we have to find the cost of three notebooks cost is always measured in rupees so 15 into 3 is let us assume 15 stable 15 ones are 15 15 twos are 30 and 15 threes are 45 so the cost of three notebooks is 45 rupees 
So this is our third example. Here, how many rupees twenty you need to make rupees hundred? In multiplication, we have seen that question about how many fours make twenty four. It is same like that. How many twenties make uh, make hundred? So hundred is what is our answer to be made? So we'll write hundred on this side, and twenty is what to be multiplied. So we'll write twenty, and the number that needed to be multiplied is we are, that we have to find. So here in twenty table, twenty one the twenty, twenty two the forty, twenty three the sixty, twenty four the eighty, and twenty five the hundred. So the number. Or the number of notes of twenty rupees you need to make rupees hundred are five notes. So this was our question. So this is our completion of this lecture. And please subscribe, like, and share to MGS Maths and Science Academy. After subscribing, you are supporting this academy to make such new and interesting videos. So please subscribe.